welcome back. It's excellent to see you. Today, we're we're just prettying it up. We're going to make the level selector just like a little bit nicer, and then I'm going to show you how to do fades. First things first, when I start the level selector, it's got that good old-fashioned Godot gray background. Eh, we could do better. Go to Project Settings. And I always just type clear to get to this. Not clet. There it is. Under rendering environment, see the default clear color? Does that gray look familiar? The same color. The default clear color is the color that Godot displays when it just don't it doesn't know what to display. Um you can pick anything. <laughs> I'm just gonna make it white. And kind of the hot trick there is our board's backgrounds are white. So if the camera does do something goofy, they don't see a little flash of gray. If you want to pick a fancier color, go for it. But I'm going to just show you real quick. Now that's what our level selector looks like. Much better. Much better. Another thing to make the level selector nicer. Right now it starts up dead silent and then you pick board one and it goes into board one with all of its lovely music. Let's put some let's put some title screen music on it. I need audio stream player, just the regular one will do. And from that music pack that I showed you back in the audio video, um, I'm going to use Mr. Pachow's Omno demo. I'm using that one. I think in the actual pack, if you look on itch.io, I think it's called Peaceful Jazzy Post Rock. You use whatever you want. I'll link it in the description. But anyway, if I save and I play, it does nothing because I didn't turn it on. I'm going to hit autoplay. Sorry. Now it plays. I have the desktop audio turned way down, so hopefully I can talk over it, but I'm still going to turn this off just because I'm recording a video. You leave it on. If I play my game, select a board, I pick board one, it goes directly to board one. It doesn't crash, but I want to make that like really nice fade that you see in games all the time. When I do stuff like this, I like to credit the person who I got the code from, but I'm going to be so honest from you. I've seen this fade trick from so many hundreds of people over the years. I think the first place I really learned it was from Brasky's from a Unity tutorial. But it works in anything. All right, we're going to make a new scene. Click the plus sign. Gonna have a root of canvas layer. And this is going to be our fader, so that's what we're going to call it. Fader. It's going to have a color rect. Ta and it's going to have an animation player. As children. Got that far? Excellent. So, on the animation player, let's make a new animation. We're going to call it Fade. I'm going to do it lowercase. And it's only going to be 0.2 seconds. You really don't want your fade animation to take a long time because the user is going to sit through it, right? Let's look at this color rect. Color. First of all, if it's going to fade, I probably want it all the way black. So let's drag it all the way down. Great. You could really fade to any color as long as it's dark, but black's easiest. Secondly, it does need to cover the screen, so let me drag that out real quick. You can, as long as it covers, it's fine. You can make it larger, but that looks good. Okay. You've probably seen R, G, and B before, the color pickers, right? A is alpha. That's how clear it is. If I take alpha and I start dragging it, it gets transparenter, right? I'm going to leave the alpha all the way at zero. And I'm actually going to key that. I said, I'm actually going to key that. Come on. It's like you have to click harder on the keys. I don't understand. I'm going to click create. 
Nice. Now over here at the end, I'm going to key it all the way black. So I've got to drag my alpha back up to 255. And I'm going to click the key. I'm going to click the key. Did I do it? I probably did it. I see it. Okay. So that's what our fade looks like so far. You're like, but shouldn't it fade out? Patience, patience, patience. I'll get you there. Let me save it. Control save, fader. Looks good. Click on fader for me. See where it says script? Give it a script. Fader.gd. Sounds good. We're going to play these animations, meaning we need a reference to the animation player. So click, drag, control, drop. Dang, so good. We want to be able to fade in. Let's write a function for it. Funk fade in parentheses animation player dot play. This is just like the dice. We know how to do this. Fade. That is the name of the animation, right? Yep. Okay, so when we fade in, we just call that function. We have to fade out, right? So let's go to the animate. Nah, we don't have to animate anything. We can do this in code. Funk fade out. Animation player. Watch this. This is so funny to me. Play backwards. That's a real function. Do you not love that? All right. We've got to be able to call this from anywhere. I want the level selector to be able to load it. I want pink piece, not pink piece, God. I want main, main two to be able to load it. Any board should be able to load it. So go to project settings. We're going to make it an auto load so that everybody can talk to it. Look, the folder, there's, no, we want TSEN. Don't add .gd. There it is. Ooh, it had been a snake. And make sure you click add. So let's try an experiment. I'm going to come over to level selector. Man, I sure do want to test my game. This is going to be so cool. Select a board. It's broken. I can't, I can't click one. Here's why. If I look at the fader, it loaded like we told it to. That's what we wanted. But the, the color wrecked has this property on it and I'm da, da 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 mouse filter stop it is stopping all mouse input easy fix I've got the game stopped I'm in the fader scene I click on color rect do, 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 do. there's mouse see filter just set it to ignore save it now we haven't called anything yet so it won't fade in and out but the mouse click at least works. Let's make it fade. Come into your main. No, I lied. Let's go to level selector first. We'll make it fade in. That'll look so good. I'm in level selector.gd, funk ready, fader, because that's what we called it, and just call fade in. So when we start the game, we should get just a little bit of. We should call fade out, shouldn't we? <laughs> I think I have these flipped. We do have these flipped. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call this fade in, and I'm going to go back to the fader script and just flip the names. Fade out and your fade in. Okay. So when the level selector starts to switch for us we do want it to fade out whoops and then when our board loads where's main we only have to do this one time thank you inheritance on ready just call fader fade in So watch this. Run current C. No. 
play a little fade in. Whoop. I'm going to click and it's going to play it fast enough to where it'll look like one little smooth. Whew. Nice, right? One last area, one last little thing. I think it was on the winner screen. Yeah. See where it takes us to the level selector? We need to fade out there. Fader. Call it. We can do it. So now when we win, it should fade out and then fade in on the level selector. Real quick, just to prove that I'm right. Go to main.gd. What do I have roll set to? 25. Perfect. I'm going to speed this footage up because how, how many hours have we watched the little pink piece go? We're going to win it. And then we're going to see the fade work. It's a tie. I'm going to click play again and a pow. It faded. Good for us. And then we can select board two. It'll fade there. So far, it looks pretty good. Hey, real quick note, editing me. I did not catch this when I was recording it, but I did catch it when I was editing it. Some of you might come up with a bug. Let me see if I can make it happen here. Drum roll. Did you see that? The fade fades under the little um, box that says, let's see who goes first. This is so easy to fix. See this canvas layer? Let me compress everything just to make this a little bit more sane. Take the canvas layer, stick it directly under main. It should be fine now. Hey, good for our team. Hey, real quick before you scoot, I am on buymeacoffee.com. It's kind of like Ko-Fi and Patreon together. If you found this video helpful or useful, I would appreciate you coming over here and checking this out. If you are willing or able, you can donate on this page. Yeah, so I'm going to stop it here. You all have an excellent one. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you next week. Have a good one.